Welcome to an enthralling episode of Luxury Living, where we unravel the magnificent, audacious, and occasionally quirky megastructures that dot our globe. Ready to embark on a journey of structural wonders? Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the video and do subscribe for more riveting content. Now let's journey through these marvels. Starting at number seven is a venture into the future of entertainment, the MSG Sphere in Las Vegas. Imagine stepping into a venue that goes beyond entertainment and offers an immersive experience that stimulates all your senses. This is the promise of the MSG Sphere, an architectural spectacle right in the heart of Las Vegas. This colossal structure, 112 M high and 157 M wide, is engineered to be the epitome of futuristic entertainment. The sphere houses 17,500 seats, but the showstopper is the massive LED screen enveloping its interior, presenting a 360-degree canvas to artists. This high-resolution screen, complemented by state-of-the-art beam-forming audio technology, makes every show a surreal journey, transporting spectators to anywhere imaginable, from the heart of an orchestra to the vast expanse of the cosmos. The sphere's distinctive design, featuring 580,000 exterior LED lights, will illuminate the Vegas skyline in breathtaking new ways. Anticipated to open in 2023, the MSG Sphere promises to revolutionize our understanding of live performance. Number six takes us to the heartland of Gujarat, India, where we encounter the Statue of Unity, the tallest statue in the world. Standing tall at 240 mm, this colossal tribute to Vallabhbhai Patel, a key figure in India's fight for independence, is twice as tall as the Statue of Liberty. More than a monumental sculpture, the Statue of Unity is an architectural marvel equipped with a museum, an exhibition hall, and a 20-story high observation deck. These offer insights into Patel's significant role in the country's independence movement and panoramic views of the Sardar Saravar Dam, respectively. Despite its awe-inspiring stature and symbolism, the statue was embroiled in controversy due to environmental and displacement issues during its construction, reminding us of the complex intertwining of development and sustainability. At number five, we journey to the picturesque city of Bordeaux, home to Europe's longest vertical lift bridge, the Pont Jacques Chaban Delmas. This 575 m long engineering marvel is not just a vital traffic artery, but also an aesthetic spectacle. Four lanes, dedicated pedestrian paths, and bike lanes ensure seamless mobility. What sets this bridge apart is its synchronized movement with the natural world, a lighting system that responds to tidal changes. Blue lights illuminate the structure during high tide, while green lights signal low tide creating a harmonious dialogue between human engineering and the rhythms of the natural world. Number four, we head to the city that has redefined architectural audacity, Dubai. Here, we find the Dubai Frame, a gigantic golden picture frame standing 150 m tall, constructed from glass, steel, and aluminum. More than a remarkable landmark, the frame serves as a metaphorical bridge connecting Dubai's past, present, and future. The ground floor museum's engaging exhibits transport you back to Dubai's humble beginnings as a fishing village. An elevator ride to the top reveals a panoramic view of the city's magnificent skyline, while an immersive VR experience offers a glimpse into the city's future. Despite its grandeur, the Dubai frame is entangled in a contentious intellectual property dispute with its architect, Fernando Donis making it a living example of the intricate challenges surrounding architectural authorship in our globalized world. Setting sail from the shores of France, at number three, we find ourselves in the ambitious, burgeoning city of Lusail, Qatar. The city, in its pursuit of merging urban splendor with luxury living, is preparing to accommodate an initial population of 250,000 residents, projected to rise to a staggering 450,000 with future developments. Its focus is not only on showcasing its technological marvels, but also the inherent dilemmas of their creation, including the violation of human rights and exploitation of labor. The crown jewel of this metropolis is the Katara Towers, a distinctive embodiment of Qatari culture and tradition. The sinuous form of the towers, reminiscent of a crescent moon, a symbol of hospitality in Qatar, also draws from the imagery of the twin swords on Qatar's national seal. 
This $604 million USD project, a beacon of hospitality and national pride, will house a luxurious hotel and premium apartments. At number two, we fly to the fringes of Beijing, where we find the Beijing Daxing International Airport, an architectural marvel nicknamed the Starfish, due to its unique six-spoke design. This single-building terminal, the largest globally, is so massive it could fit 97 soccer fields within its boundaries. At its peak, the Daxing International Airport has the capacity to handle 200 million passengers a year, possibly earning the title of the world's busiest airport. From facial recognition at check-in to robot-assisted customer service, the Daxing International Airport is the epitome of innovation and efficiency. However, this $11.4 billion USD megaproject also tells a tale of displacement as 11 villages were uprooted to make way for its construction. Zaha Hadid's design allows quick and efficient movement, reducing boarding times and the turnaround times for aircraft, further complemented by a high-speed rail system. Number one, upon entering the city, one cannot help but be mesmerized by the stunning replica of the Eiffel Tower, soaring at a remarkable height of 108 meters. It's not just the iconic landmark that has been mirrored. The city planners have ensured every detail, from the classic lampposts on the street to the meticulous layout of greenery, exudes an authentic Parisian vibe. This meticulously crafted city was initially envisioned to house up to 10,000 residents providing them with a Paris-like living experience without ever needing to step outside China. However, despite the allure of living in a city modeled after the romantic capital of the world, Tian Ducheng faced significant challenges. Due to its isolated location, the city initially drew in a population of only about 2,000 people by 2013, earning it the eerie title of a ghost town. Despite the city's increasing popularity, there's been a noticeable shift in China's architectural philosophy. New regulations introduced in 2020 aim to limit foreign building designs in Chinese cities. These changes mark a conscious move to emphasize unique Chinese architecture, steering clear from outright imitation of famous foreign landmarks and cities. Tian Du Cheng, therefore, stands as a testament to an era of architectural mimicry a fascinating chapter in China's modern urban development history. It's a city that has managed to capture the essence of Parisian romance and elegance, offering its residents an experience of Paris in China's heartland. With that, we wrap up our exciting tour of these architectural giants. Which mega-project impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments. We'll be back soon to bring you more about the world's most awe-inspiring structures. We hope to see you in our next episode, where we continue to uncover the fascinating world of luxury living.